Who are the five people you associate with the most? The benefits and disadvantages of your associations will depend on the specific individuals and the nature of your relationships with them. Having positive, supportive relationships can provide many benefits such as emotional support, guidance, and a sense of connection and belonging. However, relationships can also have disadvantages such as conflicts, misunderstandings, and a potential for hurt and betrayal. It is up to you to determine your association's potential benefits and drawbacks and decide how those relationships may influence your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Having positive, supportive relationships with people can help you succeed in many ways. These relationships can provide emotional support and encouragement, which can help you boost your confidence and motivation. They can also provide guidance and advice, which you can use to make informed decisions and navigate challenges and obstacles. In addition, having strong social connections can provide a sense of connection and belonging, which can help promote overall well-being and happiness. Additionally, having associations with successful people or those with expertise in this particular field can provide valuable resources and opportunities for learning and growth. These individuals can provide mentor, a mentorship, advice, and access to network and resources to help you succeed in your chosen field. They also will pull you to their level, either up or down. If you seek to improve, start associating with those that expel traits that you want. You will begin to have those habits and, and, and expel those traits. If you're with a group that doesn't have those things, then it may be time to change your associations or your close associations to five new people. Jim Rowan is famous for saying, you become the sum total of the five people you associate with the most. Provide positive, supportive relationships with people can help you succeed by providing emotional support, guidance, and a sense of connection and belonging. These relationships can, are also valuable resources and opportunities for learning and growth, which can help you to achieve your goals and succeed. If you cannot access people that you want, build a group in a meditative state. Build your association at your subjective level. While meditating, talk to them and ask them for advice. Or ask yourself, what would so-and-so do in this kind of a situation? And then imagine what they would do. The association doesn't have to be real. It doesn't have to be a real person. Or you could be a character from a book or a movie. Whatever the case, build your five close associations today to help you get what you want in life.